and welcome to White Wolf Yoga. Today we're all about building strength, stamina and energy as we work through this dynamic power flow. It is a class though that's going to be suitable for all levels, so feel free to take any of the modified options that I offer through the class so that it's going to benefit you and how you're feeling today. So then, let's get started in a mountain pose position and we'll bring ourselves towards the top of the mat, just finding a nice strong base. So if we look down to our feet, we'll make sure that our feet are around about hip distance apart and really feel them connect and ground into the earth. Send that awareness up the legs so that we feel the thighs are strong, lifting up towards the hips. Engage the core, pull the navel in towards the spine. Can we lift and lengthen the spine here as we inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And then as we exhale, we'll slide the shoulder blades down the back. Finding a focal point for our eye gaze to rest on. Let's take a few breaths. So on an inhale, we're going to press down through the soles of the feet and reach the arms all the way up and into the sky. When the hands join in prayer, exhale, release them down and send them past the heart center. Let's go for another couple of these, matching the movement of the body with the breath. Inhale as we reach, extend the arms up and exhale to take the hands all the way down. One last one. Let's breathe in nice and deeply. Push down through the soles. Extend through the fingers and exhale, release again those hands back down through and past the heart center. Okay, three more breaths. With these breaths, can we start to rock the weight forward onto the balls of the feet as we lift the heels? Inhale, arms up and then exhale the heels and the hands come back down. It doesn't matter if we have a little wobble or a fall as we're trying out this balance. Let's go for a couple more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, heels and hands down. One more breath, inhale, reach, and exhale, release. Heels and hands come all the way back down. We found again our mountain pose position. With this next inhale, we're gonna push down through the soles and reach the arms up. But then as we exhale, soften the knees and come all the way down into forward fold. Let's take ragdoll, hands onto opposite elbows, chin tucks in towards the chest to feel the neck lengthen. And we'll just check in with how the back of the legs are feeling as we begin our practice today. So you can either just have both knees soft and rest there, or you can try alternating between bends in one leg and then the other. Is there a, an obvious tighter leg maybe? If that's the case for you today, that tighter leg, hanging on it a couple of extra breaths. So you can give it a bit more attention, a bit more time and opportunity to open than the other. And then we'll relax the legs and just sway the arms from side to side, feeling the upper body heavy, falling down towards the floor. Neck lengthens. Maybe eyes can even close just to encourage some more blood flow towards the cells and the face and up towards the head and the brain. Okay, let's drop the hands away from the elbows now. Bend the knees as much as you need until you can plant the hands shoulder width apart down on the mat. And then one by one, we're going to send our knees into a tabletop position. Squaring off, shoulders, elbows and wrists, knees directly underneath the hips. Cow and calf, inhale, press through the hands and the toes, pull the heart forward, lift the hips and the gaze. And now we move from cow into calf, bring the navel in towards the spine and push and round the back off. With the breath, let's go a couple more rounds between cow and calf as we inhale, press up, lift and open. Exhale, feel the shoulder blades spread and the heart extend to the sky. One more on each side. Can we inhale, press up, lift and open. And exhale into calf. Hold this cat stretch. Feel the weight of the head. It's heavy dropping down towards the floor. Tucking the toes under here, we'll press into the palms and just see if we can lift and hover the knees a few inches up off the mat. Pull in that belly button tightly in towards the spine, really activate the core, hold, keep breathing for three. Push the heels back, weight spreading through the hands, two. And one, let's release the knees down, toes flat and pop the hips back towards the heels, resting the belly and the chest on top of the thighs for child's pose. Come to connect to the breath. So it's going to be a dynamic, quite a dynamic practice, this one. 
as we mentioned now at the beginning of the class, feel free just to take it at your own time, at your own pace. If at any point you need a little break, this is a nice posture to come back into to take that rest. And you want to feel a bit of an increase in the heart rate, temperature. Also, maybe the breath rate slightly increased. But if it becomes too much, if it feels uncomfortable, take that as an indication to have a rest. Okay, let's gaze forward, back towards the hands, and we'll inhale, roll up into tabletop. Elbows squeezing towards the ribs. We're going to exhale, come down to knees, chest, chin. So the chin and chest are just hovering above the floor. The gaze is forward. Slide the legs back and inhale, scoop up and into baby cobra. Inhale, back onto all fours, tuck the toes, press into the hands, lifting into down dog. So first down dog, not too much. Uh, time spent worrying about our alignment for this one. Let's just feel into it. Again, we can work on lifting the heels up and down, working on one leg to the other. Always nice to check the head and the neck as, as relaxed as possible. So drop it, tuck the chin to the chest, then give it a little shake. Shake it side to side as if you're saying no. And then go up and down a couple of times as if you're nodding to say yes. And then let's gaze forward, back towards the hands. Soften the knees, and we're gonna take a big step through with the right foot, followed by a big step through with the left foot, back into forward fold, relax and breathe here. Just letting the hands dangle down towards the floor. Inhale as we pop up, lift halfway, flat back. And then pressing down through the soles of the feet, we'll inhale the arms all the way up into the sky. Hands come into prayer, and we'll exhale the hands down and past the heart center into mountain. Hopefully feeling a little bit more warmed up now. Let's move into some dynamic power flow sequences. Let's inhale, reach arms up and into the air. Exhale, bend the knees, take it down to a forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, ground the hands. Stepping or hopping it back and into plank position. From plank, full or half. Come down to chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Look forward, inhale, roll up. So we can either stick with our cobra or now, if you want to, you can press all the way up into a full up dog. Inhale and exhale from cobra or up dog into down dog and breathe here. Using down dog as a little bit of an opportunity to reconnect to the breath, to find that energy. If down dog doesn't do that for you, if it just feels like even more of an effort when you're trying to rest, take a child's pose instead. Bring this in, bend the knees, look forward and step the left foot, followed by the right foot, all the way back into forward fold. Relax and breathe. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back, press down through the soles and reach the arms all the way up into the air. Hands come into prayer and we'll exhale them down, past the heart center, back to mountain. Let's go again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, soften the knees, come down to forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, soften the knees, ground the hands, stepping or hopping back into plank position. Full plank or half, down to chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. So if you're staying in that full chaturanga, try and align the shoulders with the elbows and then tuck the toes and push up and through to cobra or up dog. As we exhale, we're bringing ourselves again back into down dog. Check on the hands, fingers spread nice and wide. Really pressing into the fingertips, into the knuckles, into the, into the palms of the hands so that we can almost press the ground away as we lift the hips up high to the sky and bring the heels towards the mat. Don't worry if the knees want to stay bent here, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry if the heels aren't anywhere near the ground for now. With time and with practice they'll get there, but we never want to force ourselves into any position in yoga. Soften the knees, look forward, and then step the feet one by one, all the way back into forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back, press down through the soles and reach the arms all the way up into the sky. Hands into prayer, exhale down, past the heart center, into mountain pose. So we're just using these initial sun salutation variations just to get a feel for uh, the different options that are available to us. So we'll go once more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, take it down to forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, so option, step or hop it back. I'm gonna step it back today into plank. Again, we've got options here. Do we wanna stay full plank, full chaturanga? 
or do we want to drop the knees and go knees chest chin look forward again we've got options scoop up cobra or go for full up dog thighs lifted either way toes are flat to the mat inhale exhale press them back into down dog let's take a good few breaths here and inhale we lift the hips high to the sky on an exhale we draw the heels back down towards the floor maybe you can just move the hips as well here gently from side to side just to get a feel into the waist and before we step in just taking a down dog inhale and pick the right leg up we want to keep the hips square here so we're not about lifting that leg up too high maintain the squareness of the hips and point the right toes towards the left heel and that'll help just hold in here for three nice and strong through the arms engage through the core two one right leg down inhale left leg up point the left toes to the right heel keep that breath flowing for three two and one well done left leg back soften the knees gaze forward and either a step or a hop back into our forward fold and breathe check in with the breath check in with the body for the most part of the class we'll aim on keeping the inhales and exhales flowing through the nose and in and out deeply through the belly slide it up when you're ready to the halfway point hands just around the top of the shins and then come the rest of the way up push through the soles inhale arms up into the sky lift the heart and exhale the hands down past our heart center find a mountain pose okay we move towards some sun salutation b variations each one of these is going to have a little bit of a different focus the first couple we're going to focus on opening the body and then we build more into strengthening and a little bit of balance too so inhale arms draw up and into the air biceps by the ears and as we exhale we'll sink into the heels of the feet so we're deep into our chair pose can we peel the toes up off the floor so that we're really exaggerating that weight shifting backwards imagine you've got hold of a big beach ball and you're reaching that beach ball forward away from the body okay now we're going to shift our weight distribution so move it from the heels into the toes can you reach up onto the balls of the feet and lift the heels hold three keep that core strong eye gaze fixed two and one release the heels down and exhale all the way into fold inhale from forward fold lift and lengthen flat back exhale soften the knees ground the hands step in or if you want to hop it go for a hop back into plank your choice here full plank or half down chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale scoop up cobra or up dog and exhale roll on the toes back into down dog take a moment here okay so let's work into a little bit of mobility around our hips we're going to inhale right leg lifts look forward and exhale step the right foot down on the inside of the right hand and we'll bring the left knee to the floor how do you feel here when you bring that left knee down you feel tight in the hip flexor in towards the quad if you do keep the knee where it is but if you can and you want to go a little bit deeper walk that left leg slightly further back and then if possible flatten the back toes against the mat press into the fingertips and inhale lift the heart so we're just going to take a few breaths here between the supported crescent and a lunge split so we work like this we'll inhale lift the heart and then exhale press back the hips straighten them to the right leg and flex the toes inhale into crescent drop that left hip lift the heart exhale lunge splits couple more inhale drop the hip lift the heart exhale straighten them into that leg one more inhale lift and open exhale press back hold this lunge splits let's get it a little bit deeper into that right hamstring can you imagine the head extending forward towards the right toes towards the top of the mat press the hips back inhale we'll bring the right knee ba uh, back in line with the ankle and drop the left hip how do you feel here now that hopefully a little bit more open in that left side 
If you want to go deeper, release the hands from the floor and send them onto the right knee, open the heart center. If you want more still, release the hands from the knee and draw the arms all the way up and into the sky, allowing the arms to float back as the gaze draws up if possible to the ceiling. Hold three. Keep breathing, pressing into the right foot. Two. And one, release the hands down. Hands come back down to frame the right foot. Turn the left toes under, lift the left knee up, press that left heel back and stay in rooted through the palm of the left hand. Inhale the right arm up for a lunge twist. We maybe even send our eye gaze up towards that right hand. Keep strong in the knee. Left heel extends back, split that weight through both feet. Two. And one, release the right hand down, send the right leg back into plank. Full plank or half down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin, inhale. Roll up cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Take a moment. Take a couple of breaths. And let's bring ourselves onto the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot through. Knee and ankle align on the left side, right knee grounds. Send the foot back for a bit more openness. Keep it in for a little less. Hands frame the foot up onto the fingertips. Lift the heart and drop that right hip. Inhale. Lunge splits. Exhale. Three more of these. Inhale. Exhale. And ready for a couple more. Inhale. Just moving at your own pace here. It might not be the same as mine. Exhale. I want to do about four in total. Inhale. Exhale, hold this last lunge split. Hold and breathe. Keep it softer if you need to ease off a little. Or really go for it, flex the toes, call the fingers forward and extend the head towards the top of the mat. Okay, let's bring it back. Knee stacks over the ankle, hands ground down. Right toes tuck, right knee lifts. Push the right heel back and press it into the palm of the right hand. Inhale the left arm up to the sky. And hold and breathe. We want that weight equally spread, so strong in the front knee, but pushing the back heel away. Not collapsing into the ear and the shoulder on that right side. Create the space. Two. One, send it down. Left hand down, left leg back into plank. Full plank or half down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up cobra or up dog. And exhale, into down dog. Hold and breathe. Check in with how you feel, with the breath, with the body. We want to feel the effects of the power flow, but we also want to be in control of our breathing. If it becomes more than that, if it becomes out of control, drop into your child's pose and rest. Bend the knees, look forward, step, or hop the feet back into forward fold. We're going to go into our second round. This one is going to be a bit more strength based, also a little bit quicker in pace. Inhale, lift up, halfway flat back. Press down through the soles of the feet, reach the arms all the way up into the sky, hands into prayer, and exhale, the hands come down past the heart center, back and into mountain. Okay, let's inhale, arms up, exhale into chair. Got our beach ball again. Inhale, roll the weight back. And exhale, hold into the heels. Two. One, rock it forward into the balls of the feet. Lift the heels for three. Keep that core strong. Two. One, heels down. Exhale, into forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, ground the hands and half or step back into plank. Four, half plank down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot through. Right knee and ankle stack, left heel presses back. Inhale, arms come all the way up into the sky. Biceps by the ears, long and strong through the whole body. Let's inhale here, and as we exhale, turn the left toes out to the side. We open up for warrior two. That front knee directed to the little toe of that right side, pushing some weight into the outside of the left foot. Right palm rolls up, stay strong in the right knee and inhale from warrior two. 
Purveyor's warrior. Reach the arm up to the sky and send the left hand down to the earth. Inhale into warrior two. Exhale, straighten the right leg and reach the right arm forward and drop into extended child's pose. Right hand coming down on the inside of the right leg. Left arm extending up to the sky, that top hip and shoulder rotating back as the bottom hip and shoulder pull through. Okay, inhale, arms up, counter stretch. Exhale, right arm floats up, left hand slides down the back of the left leg. Deep breath into the right lung, inhale. And as we exhale, arms come back out at shoulder height. Bend again the right knee for a warrior two, which we're gonna move to a side angle. So elbow to the thigh, left arm comes up and over. Option, right hand down on the inside of the right leg. That top shoulder, keep rotating it back. If anyone wants to try a bind, thread that right arm underneath the leg and bring the left hand round back behind the body. Keep opening the body, shoulder of the left arm, rotating backwards. Breathe three. Nice and strong through both legs, two. And one, release, press through the feet, inhale, warrior two. As we exhale, we're gonna wheel the arms over and down, framing the right foot, turn the left toes forward and bring the right leg back into plank. From our plank position, full or half, come down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up through cobra or up dog. Exhale, power back into down dog. Same sequence, other leg. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, send the left foot through. Inhale, arms all the way up into the sky. Strong through both legs, eye gaze fixed and focused. Two. One, open out into warrior two, strong in the front knee. Send some weight into that outer side of the right leg also. Nice, turn the left palm up. Without moving the left knee, go for a reverse warrior, left arm to the sky, right hand down the back of the right leg. Two, one, inhale, warrior two, exhale. Straighten the left leg, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach and drop into extended child's pose. Uh, <laughs> extend the triangle, hold and breathe. I'm dying for a <laughs> child's pose. It's creeping into the mind. Two, one, press through the feet, inhale, arms up, exhale, counter stretch, left arm floats up, right hand slides down the back, get that leg. Deep breath into the lung, inhale, and exhale, warrior two. Let our warrior two lead us into side angle. Top arm reaches up and over. Now, do you wanna keep the elbow there on the thigh? Do you want to take it down or are you going for bind? Breathe three. Open and rotating that shoulder back, hold two. And one, release, inhale, warrior two. We're going to exhale, wheel the arms down, turn the right toes forward and bring the left leg back into plank. Full plank or half, down chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Almost time for a child's pose, but not quite just yet. Last couple of poses through this sequence. Inhale, right leg lifts, look forward, and exhale, step the right foot through. Now see that left foot? Just step it in a little closer so that the, the stance isn't quite so wide. Both feet are pointed forward, hips are nice and square. Can we release the hands from the floor, bring them onto the hips, and press through the soles of the feet to lift all the way up to center. Hands stay on the hips, but we're gonna slide the elbows back so that we can lift the heart. Inhale. And then as we exhale, press the hips back. Lead with the head, going down into pyramid. Leading, 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 and dropping the belly and the chest down over that right side. Again, you can either keep the hands there on the hips, or you can send them down either side of the right leg. And breathe. Hold in here, inhale, extend through the crown, so lengthen the body, and exhale, relax down again over that right side. Inhale, lengthen, draw the head forward, exhale, drop in. Hand position if anyone wants more for the last couple of breaths. We could maybe reach the hands around the back of that left leg. If you want more, keep them grounded at the side of the foot or go for them on the hips, your choice. One, okay, let's slowly 
pushing down through the soles, help ourselves all the way back up to where we started our pyramid. We're gonna bring this into a little bit of a balance. So we're gonna bring the weight forward into the right leg and slide the left toes in. Fix your eyes on your drishti, and then can we start to pivot on the hips, bringing the left leg up. And see the left toes like we did in our three-legged dog, we're gonna point them to the right heel. Options, release the arms out to the side and find aeroplane. Hold three. Two. One, hands back. Safely land in our aeroplane, left leg down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands frame the right foot. Hold here. We're gonna step this right leg back into plank. Now we can go full plank, we can go half, or if you want more, this last little bit, go three-legged. Full half or three-legged plank. Take it down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're almost there. Inhale, left leg lifts, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot through. Just bring the right foot in a little bit closer. Hips and uh, feet are square. Hands release from the mat. We'll bring them up onto the hips as we get ready to move into full pyramid. Elbows draw in to meet behind the back of the body. Inhale, heart open. Exhale, push the hips back, lead with the head. Keep looking forward and yep, when you feel it, that's deep enough, drop in. Option hands stay on the hips. Take them to frame the uh, left foot, or if you want more, send them round the back of that right leg. For me today, I'm just gonna keep it midway. I've recently started jogging again, a little bit. So I'm feeling this quite intensely in the hamstring. I don't wanna overdo it. Always stay connected to the body and don't feel like you just, if you're used to going to a certain option, that it's always the right one. Day by day, we can really change in how we feel. So maintain that connection and be kind to yourself. Okay, let's just take a couple more breaths. Inhale, extend through the crown. Exhale, drop in. One more, inhale. And exhale. All right, then let's release the hands onto the hips and peel ourselves all the way back up. Getting ready for our Warrior three or our airplane. Bend into the left leg, slide the right leg in. Eye gaze fixed on your drishti. Start to pivot on the hips. Right toes point to the left heel. Hands can stay there or send them wide. Breathe three. Keep that breath flowing. Hold two. And one. Hands back onto the hips. Right leg back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, ground the hands, left leg back, full half or three-legged plank. Take it down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll up cobra or up dog. And exhale, back to down dog. Okay, now we're going to move, finally, <laughs> now, into our child's pose. Knees to the floor, toes flat, hips push back, and relax here. Noticing what's going on with the breath, how the body feels. Consciously trying to slow and soften the breath. Let the breath begin to relax the body. Allow all of the muscles now to switch off. Let any thoughts that want to pass through the mind, let them flow in. Without judgment, without label. Just taking a little bit of time here to finish our practice. And with that awareness of the breath, the body and the mind. So keeping our hips now glued onto the heels. We're gonna extend the fingers forward, reach them forward to the top of the mat. And then maintaining that extension, the side of the body, walk the arms over towards the right. 
You come as far over towards the right as you need to get a nice stretch along that left side of the body. If you want to keep feeling that a little more, stay on the left fingertips and keep crawling the left hand away from the body. Nice few deep breaths into that left side. Inhale the arms, walk them back through the middle and then exhale the hands, walk over to the left side. Maybe come up onto the right fingertips, crawl on the right hand away from, from the body so that you can feel a bit more of an intense stretch. Breathing deeply in and out of that right side. And inhale, all the way back to the middle. Walking the hands up towards the knees. Let's finish our power sequence with one last deep energizing breath together. Inhale to reach, arms draw all the way up into the sky, hands into prayer, and then as you exhale, release the hands down to the heart center. Namaste. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoyed the class. If you did and you'd like to stay up to date with our latest videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also share with any friends that you think might be interested as well. Thanks again. See you soon.